Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana, in case you are new, welcome. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and the little bell so you can get notified of new videos when we post them. Today, Jason and I, my husband, have a special project that we have been working on together and we wanted to share it with you. We've done a two-part series already, just kind of showing two different sections of how to do this project. Today, I wanted to bring that all into one tutorial in case you are really wanting to learn how to make this little built-in cabinet. show you all the tips and tricks to make this custom built-in cabinet and I promise you if you are not a craftsman don't worry Jason and I are not either so we will show you all the tricks to make this fun custom built-in cabinet piece all right let's go the first thing we did was head to Ikea we got three Billy bookcases one really tall one two short ones and two extender pieces then we took it home got them all built out sometimes with a little extra help Next, we prepped the wall to go ahead and paint a different color than the shelves, just as an accent against the shelves. Alright, so we got the wall all painted. It actually looks a little bit stripey and patchy just because it's still drying, but got it all painted. There's Two little patches on each window. Let me see if I can point to it. You can, well, you can see it right here and there, there and there. Those are the two holes that Jason had to putty and we're waiting for that putty to dry. And then we will go ahead and paint that and that will be done. Okay, so we cut this piece here. It's actually only eight feet long. So we're probably going to have to cut another piece, but you'll see Jason's gonna go ahead and get the shelf put Good. onto it right there and he'll kind of show you. Maybe you can get a close up of yeah. what it's doing on the back side there. Well, so, okay. So you can see how that's just set on top of it. Um, it needs to come over to the right just a bit. But yeah. anyway, we're gonna go ahead and set these on. Okay, so this is the lip we're talking about that allows you to get it over the molding and get it flush with the wall. So we're raising it up so that this will scoot back and it'll keep all the shelves together. So that's what we're working on. Okay, so now we're moving on to the second, actually, what is this, third phase? <laughs> I don't even know where we're at with this. Okay, so now we have our riser plate. The next step is to make sure we have each shelf properly marked where each shelf goes because we're gonna have to put the trim on. And then we needed to find our center point, both here on the shelf and on the wall so that we can position everything in the center. After that, we're gonna start applying the, the spacers here and then the trim. So come along with us. All right, so now we've cut all our little shims to go between the shelves here. So we've got a whole stack if you can see those. So what we're gonna do is here's the, uh, the finishing nails. We're gonna put them in here. Make sure everything's all flush. We've got our marks there and we're gonna nail it in like so. We're using finishing nails, but nobody's gonna see this because the molding will cover it. Um, but anyways, this will keep us space, plus it'll give us a place to anchor the molding. All right, so we've got one at the bottom, one in the middle, and one at the top for each of those connecting pieces. We might add more, but I think that will do it for now. All right, so we've got our frame pieces cut. I'll show you what that's gonna look like here. Line it up with the edges. We've got a one by two piece of MDF that's already primed. And then in one by, what is it, four? And then I line that up and look how beautiful that looks. Doesn't that look really nice? So 
So then we're gonna go ahead and nail these in to our blocks in between each section over there. And then see then the next pieces will fit in line with that. So we'll go ahead and get these screwed in and then move on. Are you good down there? I'm good down there. Go ahead. Perfect. Okay, that should be anchored. So now let's do that end. <laughs> all right so as you can see and we'll do a wide shot we did the trim wrapped it around we've done both layers we tacked it in we're going to come back later i don't know if you can see but there's these little dots where the where the finishing nails went in we're going to take caulk and just go over that gently and then we're going to uh, paint all this up so that'll be seamless and we might even bead that right there I don't know, I kind of like it on the front. Maybe we don't do that. Um, we just cover the holes. The next phase is starting to do the front trim, going up the sides. Okay, so you can see that the bottom is all framed, and then we're gonna start working upward. Okay, so the next step is we put little blocks into the top of the shelf up here. Jason had a near accident with his thumb, and I don't even catch him on camera, folks. It didn't even hurt. He went through his finger. Did, yeah, just barely. So we put little true. shims up there in order to attach the top trim. So that's what's next. Okay, one thing we wanted to highlight is the fact that all of this is pretty custom. So we wanted to let you know, you're gonna have to do shims. Yep, we've added a little teeny shim because the, the lip of the shelf, see how there's a little bit of a, an edge there? So we had to fill that in in order to put the front piece on this shelf. And like make it so. actually flush. And make things flush. The other thing too is you don't want to cut this piece and then assume it's going to be the same on the other side because you're going to have like quarter inches. You're going to have a little bit of difference. So every piece has to be like one at a time, measure, cut it, put it in place, then measure the next section. Um, otherwise, you're going to end up with little gaps. So just everything's a little custom. You start on the bottom or the top and then you just do each piece at a time. Yep. All right, you guys. It is all framed out. I'll kind of go close so you can see it, but that is all done. So the next thing that we're gonna do is come in with some caulk and we're gonna putty every single one of these holes that we did the nail gun with, and then we will paint the trim on the entire shelf. And we'll paint that the same color as the shelving unit. We're just gonna take one of the shelves into Lowe's and have them do a little bucket of paint to match that color. All right, you guys, it is a new day. I actually hit a deer the night we were finishing this up. So <laughs> I went to get two more pieces of trim and that'll, hit a deer. That'll make for an expensive Lowe's run. Yes, exactly. So we are back and we are going to caulk. Jason, I'll show the little. So when you do the finishing nails and when you put things together, you want to make it look smoother. So caulk is what you do. So one trick is when you cut off the top, cut it at an angle. I actually screwed up and just did straight off. It's been a while. But if you cut it at an angle, it makes it easier to squeeze the caulk into the little cracks. You'll see, plus a little bit of water. So you get your finger wet and wipe out the extra. That was, those are kind of the tricks. Um, cut this at an angle, a little water to wipe out the extra caulk. And it makes everything look seamless. It covers up the holes. Okay, we'll show you how. Dab it in water, and kind of smooth it out. And then for the big seams, you wanna push a bunch in there. And then you try and wipe it out. So that way, hopefully, it will when you paint it, look better.
All right, you guys, our next step is to get this thing painted. I'm just going to paint the trim. So I decided to tape off a few of the sections where I don't want to paint onto the shelves. And obviously I put some paper down on the floor so I don't paint the floor. But I just kind of taped off the shelves. I could have taken the shelves out, but three of them can't get taken out because they're permanently attached. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the trim and then we're gonna be done. So in order to get the right paint color, I went to Lowe's and I took one of the shelves out and I took that with me and they color matched the shelf color for this paint color so that it's the right sheen on the in the paint to match. And I just got a little teeny bottle of it, like 14 bucks and It'll be the complete match for the shelf. The only other thing you need during a painting job is a good drink and a good movie to watch. Today I have picked P.S. I Love You. That is it. Look how pretty they are. I'll go up close so you can see. I've got it all painted. Made it really easy to have the primed MDF. We decided not to fill in the little holes so we can move the shelves. So stick around you guys and you can come back and see how I decorate it.